Jean-Philippe Crasso is the newest player being linked with a move to Red Star Belgrade. Uh, he currently plays for Saint-Étienne in, in uh, Ligue 2, which is uh, the French second tier. He has eight goals and four assists in 13 matches. Uh, his current contract situation uh, is... So his contract runs out in June of 2023 with um, Saint-Étienne, and he is 25 years old. He has represented Ivory Coast at the international level, and he actually scored a goal today uh, in a friendly for Ivory Coast. Uh, so this is... I mentioned yesterday when I spoke about, um, you know, the Russian player who's supposed to join Red Star or who's rumored to be on Red Star's list. I spoke about how Zvezdan Terzic in his conference said that acquiring a center forward uh, is something that is going to happen in this winter. So it's it's already being discussed. Um, Kraso obviously being a new target, we've kind of... We've kind of gone down this uh, French road before. We have brought in uh, Louis Dioni, who never really worked out. Uh, we brought in Khalifa Koulibaly, who, again, didn't work out. And his contract will be terminated uh, once the winter transfer window starts or even earlier than that. Uh, so I'm kind of scared to go down this road again. And we just haven't had much success bringing in um international players to play in that attacking role i mean you have to go back to richmond Boachi as the as the last real player who was in serbian who's made a, a difference playing up top we went with diego falcinelli who was you know god bless his heart he's a guy who got fouled a lot he's a guy who fouled a lot he created some chances for his teammates uh but when it came to scoring goals he just simply uh didn't get it done and that's one of the reasons why his contract was never um, bought by Red Star, and that's the reason why he had returned back to his original club. I forget who that was. I think now he's at Modena, which is in Serie B, so the second tier of Italian football. Um, from what I've seen in Crasso, again, not a lot of stuff out on him, but very technical. Um, can put the ball in the back of the net. Like I said, he's, he's the leading goal scorer in Ligue 2. Uh, penalty kick taker, he seems to be really, really cool and smooth when it comes to uh, penalties. Kind of waits for the goalie to make the uh, the first initial move and then he slots it into the opposite corner. Uh, fast, he can take on uh, defenders, which is something that's very important uh, because then, you know, that creates chances where, you know, he gets fouled and it puts uh, your team in a better uh, position to score goals. So that's another thing that you kind of like to see. But I think overall, like when, when I watched the tape, I think his... Flair is kind of something that stood out. A lot of like little back heel passes to teammates and stuff like that. Um, he's willing to get teammates involved in the attack as well. If if the pass is better than the shot, then he's going to lay it off to a teammate who can then have a shot. He's not, you know, going to leave three guys alone in the corner uh, if they have a better shot at goal than he does from a particular position. So I think, again, when I looked at his... Uh, kind of like entire body of work and his highlights and things like that. I think his, again, his ability to kind of do some things with his flair, I think is impressive. Uh, and, you know, the only thing I'll say is, you know, it's it's French League 2, so how much can you take out of that? Um, so, again, you know, there, there's questions about that and, and it, it's some of the stuff that we said with Koulibaly as well. Uh, just not playing much at Nantes. How much can you really see? How much can the player do? But like I said... We're kind of starting to do our homework with these center forwards. And like uh, Zvezdan Terzic said, it's it's a position that needs to be addressed. And that's 100%. Uh, I share the same same opinion as him. We can't leave Pesic out there. Pesic, you know, runs himself into the ground, like I said yesterday. And now he's picked up an injury. Thankfully, it happened, you know, within the last two matches of the first half of the season, if you want to call it that, uh, to, to where now he's going to have a month, month and a half to, to probably even two months. I don't, I'm not sure when the Serbian league is back. I think it's in, in early uh, January to kind of heal up and, and come back prepared for that uh, for that second half of the season and, and for a run to uh, defend the title, 10-point lead. Uh, still nothing is over. But um, again, another interesting name, another French player. So, you know, we kind of keep going down this route where we haven't had too much success. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, if this kind of goes down, and you know what what we as a club do uh in the position but like like Terzi said we're gonna bring in a striker for sure and that's definitely something that we need because you can't
finish the remaining part of your season with just one uh, center forward up top. Uh, I mean, you're asking for trouble because God forbid he goes down, you don't have anyone else. Uh, Kras, so again, I don't know what the, what the circumstances would be if he would maybe come in on a loan until the end of the season and then, you know, he's a free agent and then he joins the club or what. But I would prefer if I can kind of, again, with all the... We haven't had much success in bringing in foreign players again as strikers, so it's almost like, you know, a trial to see kind of what he can do and then you can kind of make a decision in the summer. Uh, if we could take a, uh, a loan, I think I would like that a lot more than uh, purchasing the player uh, overall and then just kind of see how he fits in with the club. He's not going to have any, unfortunately, no um, European matches, so it's only domestic league. So you can't really see what he can do on a bigger stage. But again, that's, I think, another reason why I would kind of take take him on, on maybe a loan and seeing what he can do. And then you can kind of make your decision uh, in the summer what you want to do if you want to you know, purchase him fully or if you want to let him become a free agent. And, you know, he could sign with uh, whoever he wants. So once again, Jean-Philippe uh, Casso, another player that's been linked uh, to a move to Red Star Belgrade.